موسیقی اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Dear brothers and sisters رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم throughout his life spread Islam starting with his own clan Quraysh then Medina but رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم also gave da'wah outside of Arabia after Ghazwa Khaybar رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم in 7th Hijri gave letters to his companions at Al-Anhum to Caesar of Rome, Qasra, Iran king of Egypt, king of Abyssinia and to those Arab leaders who were settled at the borders of Arabia which have not accepted Islam yet. Rasulullah ﷺ before sending his messenger to different state leaders gathered his companions and told them that I am sent as messenger to all mankind وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ and that O Muslims it is now your duty to spread the word of Islam to every corner of the world. رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم سینڈ سیدنا وحیہ قلبی رہت العن تو سیزر آف روم سیدنا وحیہ قلبی رہت العن وین ڈیج دمشق ہی گوٹ دن یوز دیٹ کنگ آف روم ہے ان جیروزلم ناو اٹیز ان ہی رہت العن ٹک میسیج آف رسول اللہ تو جیروزلم سیدنا وحیہ قلبی رہت العن گوز تو سیزر روم ان گیف دا بلیسٹ لیٹر تو ہم کنگ آف روم ریڈنگ لیٹر نیو دیٹ دس اس دا لاسٹ میسنجر ایز ہی واس ہمسیف سکولر آف تورا اور بائبل سو ہی کالڈ کومن کوڈ ان ویچ ہی کالڈ آل ایز ہائرنگ کمانڈرز ان منسٹرز ان ان ڈیڈ ڈیز ابو سفیان واز دیئر ٹو سو ہی واز آلسو سمن پس دا لیٹر آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم واز ریڈ ان کوڈ من محمد عبداللہ و رسولہ الہ حرق العظیم الروم سلام علی منی تبع الہدا اما بعد فانی عدو کا بدعایت الاسلام اسلم تسلم یبتک اللہ عجر مرتین فَإِن تَوَلَّيْتَ فَإِنَّ عَلَيْكَ إِسْمَ عَلَىٰ رَبِ السِّجِينَ وَيَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ تَعَالَوْا إِلَىٰ كَلِمَاتِ سَوَائِن بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ أَلَّا نَعْبُدَا إِلَّا اللَّهَ وَلَا نُشْرِكَ بِهِ شَيْعُمْ وَلَا يَتَّقِذَا بَعْضُنَا بَعْضًا أَرْبَابًا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ فَإِن Peace be upon everyone who followed the guidance of God. After that, O King of Rome, I call you to Islam. If you accept Islam, you will be safe. Rather, Allah will give you a great reward. If you refuse to accept it, not only will you be guilty, but the blame of people of country will be on you too. O people of book, approach such thing which is equal between us and you. That is, that we do not worship anyone except Allah, nor do we associate anyone with Him. Nor do any of us consider any other as God except Allah. So if he, the people of Book, refuses to accept the call to Islam, then all Muslims say to them, that all people of Book, in our case, be witnesses that we are going to submit to this invitation in any case. Harkil king of Rome saw everyone in the court and then said, Is here someone who is close to this man who is calling himself messenger? Abu Sufyan said there, I am close to him. He is from Quraysh and so am I. Harkil now started to ask questions to Abu Sufyan. Harkil asked, How is the family of Clement of Prophethood? Abu Sufyan said, They are noble. Harkil asked, Is anyone else claim Prophethood from them? Abu Sufyan said, No. Harkil asked, Has there been a king in this family? Abu Sufyan said, No. Harkil asked, People who have accepted this religion are weak or strong people? Abu Sufyan said, Weak people. Harkil asked, his followers are increasing or decreasing? Abu Sufyan said, they are constantly increasing. Harkil asked, did you experience any lie from him? Abu Sufyan said, no. Harkil asked, did he ever break his promise? Abu Sufyan said, till now, no, but recently we have signed a treaty. Let's see what he will do. Harkil asked, did you fight him? Abu Sufyan said, yes. 
her class result of war abu sufyan said sometimes we won sometimes he her class what does he teach abu sufyan said he said to worship one god don't associate anyone with god pray salah be pure speak truth and be merciful Abu Sufyan Radhiyallahu Anhu after accepting Islam told about this conversation with the king of Rome he said when the king of Rome was asking me questions and questions were narrowing place for me at first i thought that i should lie but later i thought people of Quraysh who are with me will thought that the chief of Makkah is telling lies so i told everything as it was Hercules listening all answered to Abu Sufyan Radhiyallahu Anhu said you told him noble descent prophets are born in noble families you said no one else from his family claimed prophethood If that was the case I think it is the effect of family idea you admit that there was no king in his family if that was the case I would have thought that he want kingship you believe that he also did not lie man who does not lie to man how can he speak lie about god you said that we have followed him the early followers of prophet are always poor people you admitted that his religion continues to develop this is the case with true religion it grows constantly You admit that he did not cheat either, and the prophet does not cheat either. You say that he directs prayer and piety. If that's true, that he will occupy everything till my steps. I thought a prophet is about to come, but I did not think that he would be born in Arabia. If I went there, I would wash his feet myself. Caesar of Rome, Hercules, didn't accept Islam, though he knew that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the true messenger of Allah. But because of lust of kingdom and lands, he didn't embrace Islam. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent Sayyidina Hatib radhiyallahu anhu to king of Egypt Makukas He was also a scholar of Bible He didn't embrace Islam but he respected Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam messenger and sent a letter in answer Li Muhammad ibn Abdullah min al-Makukasi adhim al-Qibt Salamun alayka amma ba'd Faqad qara'tu kitabaka fa hammattu ma dhakarta fihi wa ma tadu ilayhi وقد علمت ان نبيا بقيا وكنت اظن ان يخرج من الشام وقد اكرمت رسولك وبعثت اليك فجاري يتيني لهما مكان من الكب كبتي عظيم وكسوه وحديت اليك بغله لترك بها والسلام عليك تو محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه واله وسلم فروم كينج مكوكس اوف كب سلام عليك اي ريد يور ليتر اند انڈرسٹوڈ ات I was aware that a prophet is coming but I thought that he will come from Sham. I respected your messenger and sending two girls to you as a gift who have a lot of respect in Egypt and I am sending a dress for you and a mule to you for salam. Girls that Makuga sent were not slave or concubines they were from noble families. They came to Medina with Sayyidina Hatib radhiyallahu anha and in journey to Medina they accepted Islam because of da'wah of Sayyidina Hatib radhiyallahu anha. From them one Maria Kipti Aratlan came in Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam house and other one Sirin came in Sayyidina Hasan Aratlan they both were the sisters the mule was named by Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Duldul and Gazwa Hunain Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was writing Duldul Allama Shibli rahimahullah had wrote read the letter of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent to king of Abyssinia Najashi he replied with the letter that i bear witness that you are a true Allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam These three Christian kings didn't act in insolence, didn't humiliate the messenger of Rasulullah. Hercules even wanted to embrace Islam, but because of the greed of kingdom, he didn't. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent Sayyidina Abdullah bin Huzaifa radhiyallahu to king of Iran Khusro Parvez. He was fire worshipper and he was totally unaware with revelation, wahi or prophethood. He was living life with full ignorance. When king of Iran read the letter of Rasulullah, he got angry. because he had a rule that whoever will send him letter in the letter first his name should be written and then the one who sent letter and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam pattern of letter was first bismillah then rasulullah's name then the name of receiver of letter so khusro parvez god infuriated that this is my answer and said to sayyidina abdullah bin huzaifa radhiyallahu that if you are not a messenger that i would have killed you and tore rasulullah's letter Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam heard that king of Iran had tore his letter he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said king of Iran didn't only tore my letter but he with that also tore his kingdom into pieces and that happened later Khusro Parvez didn't stop there he wrote letter to the governor of Yemen that who is this man who is claiming to be prophet he disrespected me arrest him and bring him to me 
the governor of Yemen sent two comrades to Medina. They came to Rasulullah sallallahu and said, Our king Khusro Pavez has summoned you. Come with us or he will destroy your city. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi smiled on this and said, Your king has been killed by his own son last night. Go back and tell your governor that accept Islam immediately. Islam has almost reached Iran. There was the Dawah of Rasulullah sallallahu outside our Arabia with letters. So dear brothers and sisters, this is for today's video. We'll come back with the next video on the series inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this from me and you and grant us to understand it and follow the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in our whole life. Ameen. Fi amanillah.